generative feel. So that's what we're going to use today to create a stunning artwork using Adobe Photoshop. So if you guys love designing and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please do subscribe. And if you want to get this PST file, color LUD, brushes and everything, it's available on my Patreon. And the Patreon link is in the description list below. And there are tons to cover. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. So here we're in Photoshop and very first thing let's create an artboard and for that press Ctrl and N and I'm going for 4x5 resolution to 300 color mode to RGB and let's keep everything as default and let's click on create and then right after that let's drag and drop this background texture on the very bottom and press Ctrl and T let's make it a little bigger now let's use a very powerful tool that's called January Fill so let's make a selection right over here and let's make a selection right over here so I want to fill this space and let's go on edit click on generate a fill and let's click on generate all right I, so yeah, this is this is looking pretty good so i like it and now let's drag and drop this uh player image right over here now let's press ctrl and t let's make it a little bigger and let's keep it somewhere around here all right and then let's select the layer go to filter let's go to camera raw filter and let's do some color adjustment so uh, uh, let's drop down the highlights a little bit let's increase the shadows and let's go to fx and let's increase the clarity let's increase the texture a little bit too let's go to color mixture and let's drop down the saturation for orange a little bit and maybe let's increase the exposure a little bit here we here we go and let's click on OK. So this is what we got. And let's uh, create a new layer on bottom. Let's go to brush and I'm going to use a particle brush. So if you want to get this brush, please check on the description list below. And let's go for a kind of white color. Color and let's add a few particles right around here let's go on top and let's add one more stroke right around here here we go and let's add some uh, detailing so let's go over here and let's make a selection right around here and again let's go to edit let's go to generate a fill and let's add a tier h o r n horn let's click on generate yeah this is let's see all uh, right now let's make a selection right over here and let's add edit generate a fill and let's add a deer part well let's click and generate one more time and let's see what it come up, comes up with and I think this one is much better so I like this one and then let's do one more thing let's make a selection right around here and let's add edit generate a fill let's add a all your solvers in yeah, let, let's keep it like that and then let's merge everything ctrl shift alt and e now let's go to uh, filter again let's go to camera raw filter and let's add some detailing again so let's drop down the highlights a little more and maybe let's go on color or let's go on effects 
and let's increase the clarity some more yep something like that maybe increase the texture a little bit and in detail let's increase the sharpening too and let's add a little bit of noise reduction somewhere around here now let's click and okay all right and then let's add an exposure on top uh, let's increase the exposure just like so uh, let's fill that layer max with black color and let's go back to brush and let's go for a general soft brush and let's add some highlights maybe right around here and maybe a little bit on fresh just like so let's see let's increase the exposure a little more here we go all right so this is before and this is after and let's add a gradient map on top so let's click on gradient map and for the bottom let's change the saddles to kind of darker color something like this and i want to change that skin color to maybe more red so let's change uh, the bright color to kind of red something something like this let's move it somewhere around here and let's add a one more and let's change it to kind of more brighter something like that and let's click on OK and let's change the blending mode to hue. So this is what we got. And let's add some text. And I'm going to use uh, this font. And let's say, let's go over. Here. And let's make a copy. Control J. Uh, let's create a uh, one more layer go to press and let's go for this press and let's go for kind of darker color color something like that Here we come and let's drop down the opacity a little bit. Yep, just just like so. And then let's add a one more text on very top. Yeah, let's add a color uh, balance on very top. Let's increase the red. Just like so, and let's add one more hue and saturation, and let's make it more saturated. Something, something like that. Select the layer, and let's go back to filter, and let's go back to neural filter, and let's turn on that skin smoothing, and let's turn it on all the way up. Yep, just like so, and then let's go back to filter, and let's go back to stylize, and let's add an oil pen effect on top. Uh, let's see let's drop it down yep maybe clear in this let's increase a little bit and let's keep it like that let's click on ok so yep that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and i'll see you in the next video till then you guys take care be safe and be creative bye bye